we made posters about Black Lives Matter and how black lives are being marginalised and not treated really equally to other um, like white lives. Obviously the topic isn't correct. Yeah. Some things are like good but people are like like people like protest, marches, but obviously half of it's not that good. Some people get like discriminated. Yeah. Yeah. It's an eye-opening experience. Uh, I feel good. I feel like we've made um, a lot of progress, and I feel like it's going to make a difference. I've looked at people in a more positive way than I used to because obviously I didn't really know people, but now I've learned how to respect people more. Um, I'm most proud of how everyone um, worked together as a team and like, they respected each other's opinions and stuff. I've shared more stuff on social medias about it, I've spoke to my friends more about it and in English it's nice to like have a different perspective and think deeper into it and if I raise my hand I can talk more about it in class, I don't just have to sit to myself and just think about it. I've noticed more like microaggressions in school and online now I know that it's actually a thing but if I see it then we can talk about it and like raise it to other people. Being like part of a solution and helping the problem is probably the best part because sitting back isn't gonna like change anything. I've like had it easier than some of us. Actually, some of us haven't had it easier. Be kind or respectful about others' choices in life. I guess it's just opened my mind about what other people go through. She went down something called memory lane, and I was able to go back in time and to see the, the times I experienced racism in the school. For example, in the playground, classroom, toilets, and etc. I was able to see how. I was treated in those types of situations. Like it wasn't, it wasn't nice. It wasn't a nice feeling, but at the end of the day, like it made me realize that the world is a cool place, but you just have to be yourself. That I think the Young and Black Project taught me how to how to be me, how to focus on myself, how to be responsible. Because obviously, there are a lot of stereotypes against Black people, and it's not that I should not listen to them. Obviously, you take them into consideration, but not like be stressed out or worried about them all the time. Just focus on you and do what needs to be done. I feel like I try to stand up to the people being racist. If you like see racism or hear racism, that you've got to do something about it. Otherwise, if you're not like trying to resolve it, you're the problem. I've seen uh, like someone get bullied because uh, they're racist. And uh, I went over and helped them out, uh, and then they start calling them racist things. So what I did was I told him to go off my scooter. And then I told them to go away, so uh, so he can get away and calm down. I'm part of the fact that I've got to help someone, mm -hmm. like, outside of school. I feel like that me and my group can actually make a change to racism, how people feel about themselves. Like, we might not be able to do it from the very beginning, but I feel like over time, if we can carry on working together, we will end up changing racism altogether and having people from different races feel free about themselves instead of like hiding and boiling for their lives every moment. At the beginning, I never really paid attention of how people like fear for their lives because mm -hmm. of their racial skin. But once I joined Think Forward, I see how much people from other races are affected by white people. So yeah, that's kind of stuck for me and kept me thinking of how they're actually treated.